name is Rick Mezich, and I have the Fierce Allegiance, a 165-foot trawler, crabber in the Bering Sea, Alaska. And we just repowered from the 3512 uh, mechanicals, electronic engines. They're, they have uh, much better, you know, acceleration. Uh, they accelerate faster than the old mechanical engines, and um, you know they uh, they hold a load much better as far as uh, when you're, you know, they're not bogging down if you're in heavy seas or towing a net, and, and you got a big following sea. You know, they stay right on top of the the RPMs and don't bog down or anything like that. You know, they um, we see up to about 30% less smoke under a hard load on the engines. And, uh, you know, as we run the engines around 1225, we picked up about a half a knot in cruising speed uh, as far as power. In 2008, we, we burned an average of 13,000 gallons a trip. And in 2009, we burned an average of 9,300 gallons a trip. And that was an average savings of 3,700 gallons throughout the season. Fuel consumption on, on, the, on the mains is uh, when you're at a steady RPM traveling or towing a, a huge Pollock net, uh, it's anywhere from 12 to 15 percent on that. And uh, that's, that's a big difference when you're towing around and uh, trying to put you know, 800,000 pounds of Pollock on board the boat. One thing that's really noticeable is the amount of smoke that's coming out of the stacks um, along our just our A-frame on our aft gantry. Just in cleaning it, you can just notice the amount of soot that's on the on the A-frame in the back of the gantry where the crew goes to clean it, and that's one area. From all the way from some of the other fishing vessels, have commented that it's, it does look a lot cleaner. There's not as much smoke coming out of there when we're traveling to the grounds. In the past, I've been doing about nine 9.1 knots, and now I'm able to do about 10.2 knots and at the lower RPM. I'm not having to run the, uh, the mains as hard. And if I do, then I do increase the speed even more. But that's one thing that I've noticed and then it's able to keep up with the other boats that I'm working with. So if there is a bite to be had, I'm able to get there and within time and try to capitalize on that. Uh, the pilot house is a, it's a nice option there with the new control panels as far as well, you can see how much fuel consumption you're doing and under what RPMs and one load uh, makes a big difference, especially in the type of uh, if you're in crab fishing uh, in the Bering Sea, if you're towing a net, uh, the captain can actually watch uh, how much fuel is being dumped down in the engines and better tune it to where it's not wasting uh, fuel by doing too many RPMs for the amount of performance he's getting out of there. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a big asset towards that. At the end of the day, we know that we're helping out with the, the environment and, you know, trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly, you know, as we've been in the industry for quite some time and we take from the, the planet and it's nice to know that we're actually being part of giving back to it and you hear so many things with with the environment, the greenhouse effect and everything and, and that feels really good to know that, that you're putting forth the, the energy and effort that we've been putting forth, it does ultimately make a make a difference on the planet. One thing that the crew and I have noticed is the reduction in the noise. So when the crew is working out on deck, you, it's not as loud out there. And then also in the wheelhouse, I tend not to hear as much rumbling and whatnot. There's no questions about it. I mean, it totally changes the engine. It makes a much more performing engine. Put it this way, for the cost of the upgrade, and if I had four or five more of these engines, they'd be gone as soon as I do it uh, in frame. You bet. I wouldn't hesitate a bit. If you're going to work a boat and work it hard, I mean, Caterpillar is the only way to go. And all four of my boats are all powered, like I say, both mains and all these areas are all capped. Always have been, always will be.